What's up everybody? My name is Vincent. Welcome to Crypto Lucian, where we talk about everything under the moon in the crypto universe. Today is Tuesday, April 19th, and today we're going to be talking about NFT investing. How to turn $3,000 into $60,000 in profit buying and selling NFTs. Now, we're going to learn a lot in this video, but I'm going to share with you some secret tricks and tips that I have in my own sleep that I'm going to share with you guys so you guys can make massive ROI. Now, guys, everything in this video is just my own financial opinion. This is not financial advice, so please do your own research before investing and only invest what you're willing to lose. Again, the space is very, very new. And there's a lot of volatility. So please take this video with a grain of salt, but let this video guide you and assisting you. And maybe you can use this as a tool to hunt for the best NFTs. But there are three NFTs I'm gonna share with you in this video that are very bullish in my opinion and that I'm personally invested in. So guys, as always, be sure to smash up that like button, subscribe to the channel. Don't forget to join our Patreon page. And most importantly, please be careful with any of the scammers down in the comments below. I'll never reach out via WhatsApp, Telegram, direct messaging, or email. So please be careful and invest safely. So guys, you gotta watch this video through its entirety because you can't miss a single beat. I want you guys to study this, watch this over and over, and use this as a tool to understand this NFT marketplace. Now, the first one I'm showing you is OpenSea. We know there are a ton of projects on OpenSea, a ton of NFT collections, and it's really hard to gauge which ones to really get involved in, right? And so I think that this video is gonna help assist you in finding the right ones. So right now, that's, you know, OpenSea, that's the Ethereum NFT marketplace, but there's also Magic Eden, which is the Solana marketplace. Now, these two marketplaces are very, very big, and their user base is quite huge. Many unique wallets are buying these NFT collections. So I want to help guide you into finding out which ones really stand out and which ones I'm personally invested in. But before we do, let's talk about some principles before we dive deep into which collections that we're going to be um, studying and doing an analysis of. Well, these are the principles. Now, if you want to turn your $3,000 up to $60,000 in profit, there are a few principles. Let's start with the first one. Buy the dip, buy the fear. Why do I mention that? If you notice, the whole crypto market space, not just NFTs, have taken a slight dip. And if you've followed the NFT collections that are both on OpenSea and Magic Eden, you may have noticed that they're taking a dip. Prices are more affordable. and people are very fearful. So people who have held on to their NFTs for long term, maybe they've decided to take their profits. And we call this paper hands. Paper hands are people who tend to sell the fear and they're worried that they aren't strong enough. They're thinking that this thing is going to nosedive into a zero dollar. Well, that's where you, just like cryptocurrency, buy the dip. So if you see Solana, Binance, Terra Luna, Polygon, Ethereum, Bitcoin, if any of these take a slight dip, you know to buy the dip, you know to buy the fear, because you know the crypto space is always gonna go up. That's just, in my opinion, pure fact, because you gotta zoom out over the past 10 years and it's performed better than gold, it's performed better than any hard asset out there. So this goes the same for NFTs. NFTs are in a way a hard asset. There are limited editions, and you make sure that you buy the dip. You have to buy when people are selling their paper hands so that you can become a diamond hand, which means that you are not gonna sell regardless of how volatile the market is. So you have to treat NFT purchases as if you're purchasing cryptocurrency. You get what I'm saying? Fantastic, let's move on. Next up is blue chips. Now, blue chip NFT collections are usually NFT collections that have a great team behind them. So they you know, pretty much allow for great communication uh, they always update and have a great plan, and they share that plan with you guys. So blue chip NFTs are also really great quality artwork. They also have a great uh, deflationary hedge maybe, or maybe it's because they have great utility behind it, which we're gonna talk about a little bit. But blue chip NFTs tend to be the most promising ones. And don't forget, blue chip NFTs are the ones that usually are around the top 10, uh, and usually not above that. It could be top 10, top 20, but because there's a huge saturation of NFT collections in the thousands, being within the top 20 at least is a safer bet. That's just my own personal opinion. Now let's go to the next one, membership perks. Basically, when you buy the NFT, what perks do you get? Do you have access to certain things? Do you have airdrops to your wallet? Is it a coin? Is it another NFT? Is it a discount for a whitelist event? 
Is it to attend real events in real life? Is it free tickets? That's the thing. What do you get for your NFT other than your profit that you're gonna be doing when you sell it? Because again, this is a one year challenge that we're having, right? The whole point of this video is what can you do within this one year with this NFT? And can you gain a lot of membership perks within that year before you sell or within that year before you sell? That's something that you need to think about. And the next one thing is community engagement. The community engagement is actually really important in NFT collections because you want to make sure that people are engaging on their Twitter page, on their Discord page, that they are, um, that community members are communicating with each other, that they're following each other and building with each other, right? The whole point is the networking effect. You want to see people promote the NFT collections on their Twitter and you want them to pitch it and sell it. Some people even print out t-shirts with their NFT on them. Some people use their NFTs as IP, AKA intellectual properties. I've seen people use Board Ape Yacht Club NFTs to sell, to make restaurants, to sell music. That's the most important part in terms of community engagement. So that's pretty much a little slight dose of what I wanna share with you. And then the last thing is roadmap and utility. Is this NFT collection creating a roadmap? And is the NFT having some utility towards that roadmap? Some NFT collections out there are just there to sell and make profit and that's it. But do they have a networking effect to build as a brand? That's really important. Is this a brand? And also is the utility allowing this person to use this NFT to benefit themselves? Because you can still make money while holding this NFT. You just don't have to wait to sell it. You gotta make something out of this. And the whole point of that is are they having a great roadmap or great uh, broad scope of thinking five years down the road, 10 years down the road, even one year down the road? You wanna make sure that they're actively engaged in their NFT rather than just promoting it and then leaving us all left behind stranded, right? So guys, those are those principles. So let's go ahead and get right into the collections. So what is my first collection? Guys, you've seen this video before and it is obviously World of Women. Now the World of Women Galaxy Collection is what I wanna talk about specifically. Cause around 1.0 ETH, it's around 3000 to 3500. So it's in that range, but I actually did wake up this morning and it was $3,000. So what's great about this is that they have great utility. They have a great roadmap, great membership perks. It's a blue chip. It's everything that you need to do. And this is something that I would say you need to buy the dip on. So you can go here to go to the buy now button. And you can understand you can buy these at such great deals. Guys, there's so much going on in this space. So what am I talking about? So this is the star map. This is the, uh, the star map is something that I published in uh, yesterday's video, which I will provide uh, a link on the upper right hand side if you feel like clicking on that. But this is a new uh, laid out roadmap, right? So if you were to get a, a World of Women Galaxy, which is this little darker purple, you have license of your IP. So that means that's the utility, that's what you get. And also some perks you get to have are you can include your World of Women Galaxy in a show or a movie possibly to be casted. And who knows if that's gonna work with Hello Sunshine co-productions, which is part of Reese Witherspoon, the actress's co-production who's heavily invested in World of Women. Now, another thing I wanna share with you is that you can get physical collectible goods. These are real in life goods that you can get along with a board game, the, again, these are great benefits to have, but who knows that the board game will be mailed to you, but that at least helps you out. And really cool, Art Drops 2.0. So World of Women Galaxy holders can get airdropped some amazing art for women within the World of Women uh, ecosystem. And so that could be sent to you for free and you could possibly sell that for profit, right? Or you can keep it for yourself to, to, to keep it as a personal collective because you care about the art so much, right? So that's really amazing. Next up is the metaverse, right? World of Women Galaxies can have their own sandbox avatars, which is gonna come soon. It's not announced yet, but we know that sandbox is the top metaverse play out there in terms of uh, the market cap, which is in the billion dollar family. They have a huge networking effect. And they've had brands work with them, but you get to have your own avatar and who knows if you get to sell that avatar on the OpenSea marketplace for massive profit, right? Again, this is crazy that I'm, I'm sharing this with you. As I'm talking about it, I'm even wild in that self. 
Now, this is the community that I'm talking about, right? The community engagement. You get to be part of the DeWow, which is the Decentralized Autonomous World of Women organization. So that's really cool. They also have the Alpha, the Community Notice Board, and also meetups. You can meet up with other community members within the World of Women uh, network. That is amazing. Now, IRL is in real life events. These are real events, not digital. Something that can physically go to and meet other people. They have a WOW Gala, the World of Women Gala event, which is gonna be beneficial for both the World of Women and World of Women Galaxy holders. And there's the NFT NYC event that we can get access to. We are not aware if this is going to be free for us or if it's that we're gonna have discounts, but I guarantee you these tickets will run in the hundreds to thousands of dollars. Another one is merch. You get the capsule merch. That's real merch for yourself. And the foundation, you get to have merch raffles for goods. So guys, that goes to show you these membership perks, the roadmap, the utility, everything, the community engagement. Guys, this is amazing. So make sure to buy the dip. And recently I wanted to share is this. Now we do know that you can have intellectual property to DAO WoW, the merch, the WoW G airdrops, WoW Gala, and also the sandbox avatars. But recently the WoW holders, and this could happen soon, who knows for the world of women galaxy holders. But if you invested in the first generation of World of Women, which is the first collection, you were just airdrop one of these amazing outfits created by and designed by the fabricants. And what they look like, people have been seeing these be airdropped to their wallets and it was just happened within the past 24 hours and people are losing their minds. This is amazing to see that the product is being sent out to all these holders. And soon, the World of Women Galaxy holders will have the exact same thing, maybe even more. And don't forget, the World of Women Galaxy NFT collections are futuristic, so who knows if we have spacesuits or cyberpunk outfits. It's gonna be outstanding. So guys, that is one example of a $3,000 investment that can possibly go up to $60,000. Remember, the floor price right now is around 1.0 ETH at this time. I do expect that this can go as high as five to seven Ethereums. Mark my words, that's how bullish I am on this. Now, what is next on my list? The second collection is Neo Tokyo Outer Citizens. Currently at a price of 1.79 ETH, I've actually seen this go as low as 1.04 ETH. That is correct, but someone bought that up. But you can invest around $3,000 to $3,500 in this amazing piece of art. Now, what's great about this is really the membership perks. What I love about this is that this is a gaming and metaverse community. And with that, the community engagement is really important. But what's really important to know is its previous predecessor, which was the very first collection, and that was the Neo Tokyo Outer, or Neo Tokyo Citizens. Now, this actually reached a floor price. I think it was around um, 75 Ethereum. Actually, I'm sorry, it was above 110 Ethereum. So just knowing that this is a huge discount from that at 11.9 is amazing. But if, again, I wanna turn your $3,000 into $60,000. So I wouldn't suggest investing in this. It would really be this one, Neo Tokyo Outer Citizens. Now, the only difference between these two collections is if you have the citizens, the first collection, you, you earn bytes, which is a token. And that token can be worth around, well, $9 at the time, which is earned daily. But if you reached at its peak when the citizens was at around 110 Ethereum, you were earning around $250 a day per byte. And that happens every day. But this can certainly happen for the citizens, but the outer citizens is a difference. You don't earn any bytes, but you do have the membership perks of getting into whitelist events, uh, such as um, NFT collections, games, so forth, so on. So that's the great thing. So just owning one of these is quite huge. And at a, like 1.79 Ethereum, that's actually really great. That's a great deal. This is the exact same example of buy the dip, buy the fear, right? And when I talk about engagement, this is what happens. So when you become an S2 citizen, you make sure that you verify yourself into their Discord. You have to verify your NFT and connect to your MetaMask wallet by using Collab Land. And people are a little skeptical uh, around verifying their NFT asset using a, a third party app, but this allows you to get verified to have access to these chats. You see the section Citizens S2 Requirement. You have all access to the building, uh, to the community board, Citizen Alpha, 
also comms chat. You also get to you know speak with the neo market, crypto market, whitelist market, outreach general. I mean, there's so much in here that's amazing. That's that, that's the community perks, the membership perks, and the community engagement. I've literally spoken to so many people on this channel uh, that it's been quite amazing to see what is happening behind the scenes. And unfortunately, I can't share those things with you. That's the the code as being a Neo Tokyo citizen member is that your membership rewards are actually quite beneficial when you have early access to many of these conversations. So I think that this uh, floor price of outer citizens can actually go up as high as the same price as the citizens up to 10 to uh, 11 ethereums. Again, that's far beyond um, $60,000. But again, this is personally one of my favorite collections. And it's actually my uh, profile icon on my Twitter page. And so definitely look into these collections. They're amazing. And, you know, definitely score on if you can. So definitely look into this. So that's it for the second collection. What is my last and most favorite collection that is most affordable that you can make massive profit in? And that is Astrals. And Astrals is going to be sold on Magic Eden. It's built on the Solana, Solana blockchain. Now, the floor price is 14.45 Solana. Now, if you don't know, each Solana is around $107 at the time of this writing. So really, with $3,000, you can actually pick up two astral nfts that's right two astral nfts and have some money a little bit of money set aside so the reason i'm bringing this up is because you can find some great deals now you can look at the moon rank which is the most preferred rarity tool or you can use how rare dot is which is a secondary uh rarity tool but you can find some amazing deals like look at this one for 15 solana that's amazing i mean it has the gun it has the astral symbol and it's an ape we know that those tend to do really well but again, at the time of this recording, it could be sold out. So be sure to buy it if you have it. But you can buy two of these. So if you buy two, that's obviously massive profit in the end. So let's talk about what's been going on. Recently, they have decided to create, then they do this. They've done it for Steve Aoki, Shaq, and some other people. But they've created a custom NFT, an astral NFT to Raj.Soul. Who's Raj.Soul? He's the co-founder of Solana. That's right. Solana is one of the leading layer one blockchains out there. And so they're obviously having a great relationship with the major blockchain of Solano, but they're also developing a lot of different amazing relationships with big name brands and so forth, so on. And when I talk about branding, this is a great example of Astral's turning themselves thinking long term. And they have mentioned before that this is a five to 10 year roadmap, not just an NFT, it's an actual brand. And they've already decided to register their brand with Authentic Brands Group to help make this a global phenomena. And what I've heard through their pre uh, previous conversations on their live chats is that they're speaking with some big names, big names. I'm going to talk about that in a little bit. Now, we know that Shaq is the founder of this NFT collection. He's changed his icon to be one of those astral NFTs. This is his custom NFT collection, the one out of one. He's also changed his username from Shaq.Soul. So he's very bullish on Solana and Solana NFTs. So he always tends to retweet these collections and he always tends to engage with the community. Now, he also, on this recent uh, video clip, there are his friends that have actually said that Shaq is just so busy in the metaverse, but also they verbally said so busy with Astral. They said it verbally on public television. So who knows if Shaq is pitching to his uh, friends, to his basketball team members and former playmates that they should get into Astral's. They could be buying behind the scenes and you wouldn't be knowing that at all. But this is an amazing awareness that is being brought on a global scale. Another thing is he's also bullish on other projects, right? He's trying to engage, at least with the Astral team, they are trying to engage with other NFT collections. What's interesting here is that there's a movement going on that's not happening on Ethereum. Astral's is one of the leading NFT collections that's trying to team up with even OG collections such as the Galactic Geckos and also D-Gods to push the whole Solana NFT collection system up. And that means there's something happening behind the scenes that we don't know of. What is the other collection? That is D-Gods. Now recently, D-Gods, which is one of the top NFT collections on uh, Solana, had a recent video that came out and they talked about 
uh, how they can work together and what is going on behind astrals that you guys need to know that's going to help astral uh, members and nft holders uh, uh, earn some perks right we're talking about membership perks and i'm just going to give you this clue now in that conversation they said that there could be some uh, membership perks for Shaq's Funhouse. And as you can see here, when Shaq, AKA DJ Diesel, I don't know if you know this, I didn't know this either, but when I found out that Shaq is a DJ and that his DJ name is DJ Diesel, this is a recent event that happened for the Super Bowl, uh, which was uh, in partnership with FTX to promote this event, uh, had Astros all over the map. It was all over the billboards. It was there performing with him. He was promoting that awareness around thousands of thousands of people and he's going to continue to do this at every shack funhouse event but also astrals is working with ftx as well and secretively they've been having conversations private conversations with one of the main leading gaming investors and that is animoca brands you heard me right and that was in the astrals uh d gods conversation so that is huge so i think at this price for 14.45 you can get two Astro NFTs for $3,000. And I imagine that the floor price, and hear me out, this is gonna go to 100 Solana on its floor price and possibly even up to 200. Guys, this is my own financial opinion. Please do your own research before investing. But these three collections, I'm certainly bullish on. So guys, let me know what you like. Let me know if you are into these NFT collections, any of these three, World of Women, World of Women Galaxy, Neo Tokyo, Outer Citizens, Neo Tokyo Citizens, Astro NFTs. I wanna hear it all in the comments below. And I wanna hear your thoughts about how you think these prices, your predictions at least for the price, could hit for all of these different collectibles. So guys, with that said, if you like what you heard and like what you saw, please smash up that like button. Subscribe to the channel. Don't forget to join our Patreon page and I will see you guys next time. Thanks for watching Cryptolution. Register on our Patreon page for our insider training tips and more. And don't forget to click on the affiliates link below to receive sign up bonuses and access the Global Crypto Assets Exchange. Invest safely and we'll see you on the next episode of Cryptolution.